Hi, I'm Brad Fry, Music Supervisor here at Ava Technologies with a quick tutorial on how to use the piano roll on our music engine. So once you've finished generating a track and you've listened to it, you can view the track in the piano roll either by clicking piano roll on the left-hand sidebar or by right-clicking the track and selecting open in piano roll. From here, you have two different options for viewing the piano roll via this toggle at the top left. You have spectator mode and edit mode. In spectator mode, you'll see a broad overview of the entire track. All elements of the track, including the melody, the chords, and the bass, they will all appear on this single piano roll and will be color-coded accordingly. You can also view some structural information, including the different sections and their names, as well as the chord labels. In edit mode, each layer of the piece now has its own individual track, rather than being shown all at once in the spectator mode, and you have the option of editing certain components of those layers. When expanding one of these layer tracks, like for example, this track for the melody layer, you'll first see the contents of that layer in a mini piano roll. Below that are the instrument tracks associated with that layer. You can change an instrument for an entire track by simply clicking on the instrument name and navigating through the drop-down menu to whichever instrument and articulation you would prefer. You can also add a new instrument track to the layer by clicking the blue Add Instrument button at the top of the layer track. This will add a silent instrument track, which you can then change to whichever instrument you would like. For each instrument track, you'll notice a colored block associated with that instrument. This represents when the instrument will actually play the contents of that layer. In this case, wherever the colored blocks are, that instrument will play the melody. If the colored block is not there, those instruments will not play the melody. These blocks can span a minimum of one measure and up to the entire duration of the composition. These color blocks can be edited in two different ways. With pointer mode selected at the top left, you can simply click and drag these blocks around to make them shorter or longer. Dragging this block two measures to the right, for example, means that this instrument won't start playing the melody until two measures later. With pointer mode selected, you can also select a block and hit delete to simply delete the entire block. With pencil mode selected at the top left, you can just click somewhere on a block to erase a segment of it or click outside of the block to add a segment. Note that if you remove an instrument's colored blocks completely, that instrument will be replaced with a silent instrument, which can be chosen under the string section. This will effectively mute the instrument track and you can always add the instrument back later. For each layer track, you have some features available to you, which you can choose to enable or disable, like auto staccato and sustain pedal. Auto staccato will use a bit of intelligence to choose an appropriate articulation on a note by note basis. This will be on by default, and it's generally best to leave it on unless you want every single note to be uh, one articulation, such as legato. When enabled, auto staccato sounds something like this. When disabled, auto staccato will sound like this. Sustain pedal only works for pianos and will also smartly choose when to use the sustain pedal on the piano to blend the notes together. Other options are available for each instrument track via the gear symbol here, like octave transpositions and dynamic offsets. Octave transpositions enable you to transpose an instrument up or down by several octaves. Dynamic offset enables you to reduce or increase an entire instrument's dynamics by up to 60 points. This will affect the velocity and CC values of the MIDI. At the top, you can expand the tempo track to see the tempo map for the entire composition. If you feel the piece is either too fast or too slow, or changes tempo too much, 
uh, you can set a constant tempo by typing your desired BPM here. Once you've finished making your changes, you need to click this green Save and Render Audio button at the top in order to save the changes and hear the newly edited piece with all of your modifications. And that's how you use the new Ava Piano Roll. As always, we'll be constantly working on improving this going forward, so uh, if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to let us know in the comments or by emailing us at feedback at ava.ai. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.